look like what I got in the mail today. An interesting package. And I don't remember. What I ordered, what it entails. Uh, it's called SSO. Apparently, it comes from the UK. It is in pounds. Lots of plastic. some force this works aha more plastic just what I needed okay let's see what is inside can you guess I think you can because I'm going to put it in the what? Okay, it glued pretty well. I love these 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 bubble things, they pop. Well, the good ones pop. <laughs> this one doesn't. Ta-da! Oh no. USS Or wait. SSO Omega I think. Um so USS, your sacrifice is appreciated. My sacrifice was, I think, 11 pounds. I don't remember what I paid for shipping. Probably not much because it's. Damn it. Ah. So. Getting rid of the crap later. Ah, SS Omega. I can't tell you anything about it because I don't remember. It's one of these Kickstarters that take forever to ship. And I think it was the second edition. It is for three to five strategists, three to five complexity, two to lo five luck, and story four to five. So it's Apparently, player numbers one to six. Okay, so this is a uh, three out of five comp strategy. Playtime sixty to ninety minutes. Learning time thirty minutes. We can start counting now. Teaching time ten minutes. Setup time two minutes. Well, that was something to be said. Uh, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, nice box. It's a shiny, shiny thing here. The SSO. You can see it on the high resolution camera that lasts for 10 minutes. Now, this is a dice tray. SSO Mega Main Rules. Uh, well, the smell is always nice. Uh, it's not napalm, but it reminds you of having won something. Ah, the smell of new board games. Okay, the content of a uh, copy of SSO should, should contain t 24 red pack challenge cards. Red pack challenge cards. I see no red pack challenge cards. Maybe this. Hmm. So apparently it's a card game. And all I remember is that the first edition, this is the second edition, at least that's what, I'm, what I paid for. I haven't seen any second edition thing yet. Um, the second edition should have less incomprehensible rules. 
and somewhat better car design. Now this looks like crap on the camera, but it looks pretty nice, although there is a little slight indentation here, which is absent here. Um, vent oxygen, vent oxygen, sinister noise, sinister noise. That's what else do we have here? Search, search and report, maintenance report, targeted life, power shunt. Apparently uh, you are awakening in a starship, the SS Omega, and uh, thinks well the the AI has taken over and uh, there's something wrong with the AI I think so something like that. So these are all the same bags, and let's not look at that one. So, what was I looking at? 24, 6, 12, 12, 6, 1. I don't know. This package... There haven't been any uh, uh, unboxings, so... For SSO yet, uh, at least uh, my Google al algorithm uh, didn't uh, come up with any, so I thought I might as well do it. Shut down higher AI functions. Must move. Cards are not linen finished, but they are smooth, a bit like Zerivia, sturdy enough. Feel nice, not not these American uh, really sharp edges so that uh, cut uh, right through your uh, your hand uh, to the bone. I had one of these. Uh, what was it called? The King's Guild. They were like knives, so sharp. Uh, I had to get rid of the game. Okay, solar array. Apparently, can you can. So, if this is for six players, one, two, three, four solo arrays. Okay, quick reference card. Uh, Daisy, Daisy. This card lists a set of achievements for the AI challenge deck. Return it to the box during setup. Try to check off all bo six boxes. Um, yeah, well, we need to rules because I can, of course, I can tick off boxes. Um, what's this? So the box um, it's not well designed because uh, these cards will shift inside a box. There's the central corridor. Okay. Uh, so it needs separators. I think I'll make one myself. It was too <laughs> too much to ask for the designer. And the middle part should have these strange tokens that are uh, more or less in the center. And. One, two, five, one, two, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four. We have all these symbols, so that's not for every player one. This uh, some kind of heartbeat. Where is the pink one here? I don't know. What is this? Oh, these are half rounds. So I think these half rounds, they come up quite okay. I think these half rounds are for some kind of uh, 
uh, tracker, like so. It's really flimsy. Um, okay, so you could have a morale, and you could have oxygen, or you can die. Must, must reduce crew and hydropods morale by Y, increase general oxygen by Y. Yeah. Uh, okay, so next up will be me having read the rule books and trying to set it up because I <laughs> have no idea what this game is about. <laughs> Maybe the back of the box will say. Ship sy systems are functioning, oxygen levels are low but sufficient. Not a member of the original crew is present. Our mission is clear. Maintain the Omega to the completion of her purpose. All that remains to be discovered is how and what happened to the first crew. So, we are the second crew. Uh, I don't know how many players for a solo. SSO is a semi-cooperative game of sci-fi survival horror. Okay, let's check for the horror then. Uh, horror, 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 horror. I don't see any horror. That's good, because I don't like explicit horror. It's just not necessary. Okay, so these things I think these things will be added to the to the to the to the main center bay. Central corridor like so. And then outside of the box of course. And you have cryogenic spots with stuff main airlock, medical pod, oxygen hydropod, radio pods rec room, the four solar panels. Okay, so these are also double-sided. Oh, you have also the command module. Okay. And then you have all these green things. That apparently he had one design and he was very happy with it. <laughs> he used all the same design for everything. That's not really how oh it's so, okay, these belong to the other part. Sorry, and this is the stowaway crew card. Okay, camera time is up. Um,